Hello, people. I think there's one thing that we can all agree on, and that is that we all hate the banks. Especially the big banks. And another thing, you cannot turn on the TV these days without hearing how much trouble the post office is in. The post office is hemorrhaging red ink to the tune of billions of dollars. So I'm going to tell you how you can help the post office and stick it to the man at the same time. Now everybody has received these prepaid credit card applications in the mail. And one thing that I have been doing over the last year is saving every single credit card application I received in the mail over the last year. And I have accumulated quite a pile. Uh, this bundle here I have received from Chase Manhattan Bank. Capital One. Citigroup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you how you can do a good deed and stick it to the man at the same time. Now, these credit card applications all come with a return postage paid envelope. That looks like this. Okay? Now, this means that if you drop this in the post office box, that they will mail it back to Capital One or wherever it may be, and then Capital One will be charged for the postage. Now I'm going to take these postage paid envelopes and I am going to enclose various and sundry advertising I've received in the mail. Capital One will receive Chase Manhattan stuff. Chase Manhattan will receive Capital One stuff. Just make sure that whatever you put in these envelopes, make sure that it does not have your name and or address on it. Now you don't have to limit yourself to advertising. You can get creative. You could enclose a coupon to your favorite store. You can enclose a printout of your favorite blog. You could enclose a picture of your dog. You could enclose a picture of your anatomy. Just remember, the person who opens this at the bank is not someone of great importance. So if you're thinking about enclosing a dog poop pancake, that dog poop pancake will most likely not find its way to the bank president's desk. <laughs> Now, one thing that I'm going to do is in one of these envelopes, I am going to stick a $5 bill with a little card here that says, Merry Christmas, have a latte on me. So, some lucky person at one of these banks is going to open up a prepaid envelope and they are going to get a $5 bill to take down to Starbucks and enjoy a latte. All right, so I'm going to come back after I've stuffed all these, and I'll take you to the post office, and we'll drop these in the mail. Hello. It's kind of early in the morning because I just got off work, but I do have almost a hundred of these postage paid envelopes ready to go to various and sundry banks. Now, I highly encourage you to do the same thing. Now, you don't have to wait and save up a hundred like I did. You can send them in one at a time. And when you do that, you're not only sticking it to the man, but you're also helping the post office and you're helping to create jobs for the people at the bank that got to support this stuff. Yeah. We're going to drive up and you can watch me put it in there. Now, wouldn't you know it, after stuffing and sealing like a hundred of these things, my camera battery dies right when I'm about to dump them into the mailbox. Now, you don't have to save a hundred of them like I did to make a difference. You can make a difference just spending a minute or two of your time every week. Because I'm sure most of you get at least two or three of these things a week from various and sundry places. So you can save the environment instead of throwing them in the trash. You can save the environment, and you can help the post office with their 8 to $10 billion deficit. You can help save jobs at the post office. You can help save the retirement of these people at the post office. And not only that, you can also create employment opportunities for the people on the other end who got to open these things. So seriously, just a minute or two of your time every week makes a difference.